Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Penny Dog and I are so happy to see you. Today is the middle of our week, but before we sing our days of the week, I think we should have a quick song with Mr. Josh. Does that sound good, Penny? Oh, she likes that idea a lot. So here's Mr. Josh with a quick song for us. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only Mama Duck have to go do? Go, go find them. She's gotta go find them, but she's so sad. Sad Mama Duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said quack, 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 quack. And all the little ducks came back. All right, all done everybody. Thank you. I just love those five little ducks. I love when sad mama duck goes out and then quacks and all the little ducks come back. It makes me so happy. Well, speaking of happy, I'm happy that it's the middle of our week, but let's sing our days of the week to figure out what day it is. All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yesterday, Wednesday, today, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. Saturday, one, two, three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yesterday, Wednesday, today, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, one, two, three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, guys, so today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, tomorrow is Thursday, but today is Wednesday. Let's grab our calendar. So yesterday was the 25th, and yesterday we did some skip counting by fives, and that was so cool. And today is the 26th. It's Wednesday, August 26th, and there's our little smiley face. Let's skip count again and then add one to make it 26. So we're gonna start five, 10, 15, 20, 25 plus one is 26. That was so much fun. Well, speaking of fun, we have a fun story from Miss LJ. So here she is. Hi everybody, it's Miss LJ. We've been talking a lot about going back to school and I wanted to point out that that excited, nervous feeling you get when you're about to go back is the same whenever you're trying something new 
or experiencing new things. Ladybug Girl at the Beach is all about how Lulu has been so excited to go to the beach and has wanted to go forever. But when she sees that ocean, it can be a little scary. But you know what? Once you conquer your fears, it might be your favorite thing in the whole world. So let's just see what happens to our brave hero, huh? There she is, reading up about the ocean. She's waiting for them to pack up the car. And off they go. Ladybug girl at the beach. We're finally here, declares Lulu as she jumps out of the car and spreads her wings. I love the beach, says Lulu. You've never been to the beach before, replies her big brother. But I already know that I love it, she says, and I can't wait to go swimming in the waves. The sand feels warm under her feet as Lulu and Bingo lead the family to a good spot to spread their blanket. Lulu runs to the edge of the water. The ocean goes on and on and makes huge roaring sounds. She had no idea it was gonna be so big and noisy. She takes a few steps backward. Bingo barks at the waves. Wow. Are you going in? Her brother yells, running past her and splashing into the water. Uh, I don't think so, she says. Um, I really came to build sand castles. Lulu retreats to the beach blanket to find her trusty pail and shovel. She builds a giant sand castle and uses little sticks for people. The king and the queen are very happy here, she thinks. Bingo digs a moat to keep them extra safe. Lulu walks over and sits down next to Mama. She looks out at the ocean, which is glittering with light. She thinks it looks pretty from far away. Do you wanna go swimming in the water? Asks Mama. No, Lulu says, I wanna fly my kite now. That went really high. Soon the kite is darting back and forth in the wind, but Lulu hangs on tight. After the wind dies down, it's really hot. Lulu glances at the ocean. She thinks the water would be cool, but the waves are still much too big. This is a good time to remind her parents about ice cream. Lulu lists all of her top 11 favorite flavors. <gasps> Chocolate marshmallow, cherry vanilla, pistachio, butter pecan, peppermint bonbon, peanut butter chip, raspberry swirl, peach pie, almond fudge, royal banana surprise, and vanilla. At the ice cream stand, Lulu can't choose just one. This is a day for a double scoop, her mama says. Sometimes mamas can be very right. If I were to get a double scoop, it would definitely be cherry vanilla and peach pie. Come on, Bingo, after she, fin she says after she finishes her ice cream, let's take a walk down the beach. They find a long piece of driftwood. Lulu writes loopy L's in the sand and draws pictures of Bingo. He's the perfect subject and stays very still. It's very hot. Lulu looks at the ocean. Other kids are splashing and jumping in the waves. Lulu walks down to the edge of the water. Should we get our feet wet, Bingo? She asks. She thinks it would be okay to go into the ocean just a little bit. Suddenly, a wave crashes into her legs and nearly knocks her over. Just as she gets her balance, the whirling water races back and tries to pull her in. Her feet get buried in the sand up to her ankles. Are you okay, Bingo? Lulu asks. She looks around to see if anyone noticed that they were almost carried away, 
but everyone is playing just as they were before. Let's be explorers, said Lulu, brushing the sand off her knees. We can collect things for our museum. They march off across the beach. They hear seagulls that sound like they're laughing. Discover little crabs that burrow into the sand and pick up slimy seaweed washed up on the shore. There are also lots of shells on the beach, all different shapes and sizes. She chooses the most special ones and puts them in her pail. I know, bingo. I bet if we dig, we could find pirate treasure, says Lulu. She digs and digs and digs. Whew, finding treasure is hard work. When Lulu feels the water splash against her, she spins around. The tide has come in. It's taking away her favorite pail. She has to rescue it or it will be lost forever. This is a job for Ladybug Girl. I'll save you, she says, snapping at the pail. When she looks down, she realizes she's in the ocean. She's actually in the ocean. The water is past her knees and she isn't afraid at all. Ladybug Girl isn't afraid of anything. For the rest of the long afternoon, Ladybug Girl and Bingo splash into the water Lady, uh, and run on the beach, daring the waves to catch them. You can't catch me, waves. I'm Ladybug Girl. Ladybug Girl and Bingo play until the bright blue sky turns pink. They make footprints in the sand. At least 14 miles of them, Ladybug Girl thinks. Every time the ocean erases them, they make more. Then it is time to go, and Ladybug Girl trudges back across the still warm sand. Bingo follows slowly, dragging his ears. Standing at the top of the dunes, Ladybug Girl waits for her brother. So, did you like your first time at the beach? He asks. Yes, she answers. I told you, Ladybug Girl loves the beach. The end. I'm going to tell you a little secret, guys. Do you think you can be brave without being a little scared? No, you can't. You can be scared of things. You can be scared of a lot of things. That just means so many more chances to be brave. So get out there and find something that you're afraid of that just might be your new favorite thing. Have a good day. Bye. Did you guys love that story from Miss LJ? I know it was so great. Oh, thank you, of course. Well, you know what you say after thank you. That's right. You're welcome. So here's Mr. Josh with You're Welcome. Yay! I want a sticky feet. I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and you say, don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. It's nice to see that humans ever change. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, it's really me and now we're Yay! 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 it's a lot of the hair. Yeah. What can I say except you're welcome With the eyes of the moon from the sea No need to pray today, you're welcome I guess it's just my way of being me Hey, what has it come to hold up the sky?
You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you. All right, guys. Well, we went over our calendar, but we forgot to find out what holiday it is. All right. What's the holiday today? Today is National Dog Day. You guys, it's National Dog Day, just like Penny Dog. Well, I think we need a story about a very special talking dog. So here's Martha Speaks. Martha Speaks. The day Helen gave Martha Dog her alphabet soup, something unusual happened. Martha's brain. The letters in the soup went up to Martha's brain instead of down to her stomach. That evening, Martha spoke. Isn't it time for my dinner? Martha's family had many questions to ask her. Of course, she had a lot to tell them. Do you always understand what we're saying? You bet. Do you want to know what Benji is really saying? Why don't you come when we call? You people are so bossy. Come, sit, stay. Never say please. What's all that nonsense about pimples? Do dogs dream day and night? This morning, I dreamed I was chasing a giant meatloaf. Talk about changes in my diet. Why do you drink out of the toilet? Lassie is not all that smart. Woof! <laughs> Alphabet soup came, became a regular part of Martha's diet, and the family had a wonderful time surprising people. Walking the dog was always good for a laugh. Yo, Rinty, good dog. How's the flea problem? <laughs> so silly. They ordered pizza from a different restaurant every night. How much do I owe you? <laughs> they taught Martha how to use the phone. But this was a mistake. Hello, Acne Meat Company. I'd like to make an order. <laughs> a dog on the phone. That's so silly. Pretty soon, more than pizza was being delivered, but I didn't order any barbecue. Family and friends were amazed. Please pass the carcass. Wanna go for a walk, Granny? <laughs> Although there were those who doubted, there is no such thing as a talking dog. Martha always had the last word. Speak, Martha. Woof. Just kidding. But there was a problem. Now that Martha could talk, there was no stopping her. She said exactly what was on her mind. Why is that man so fat? Uh-oh. Martha needs to learn some manners. She made embarrassing comments. Mom said that fruitcake you sent wasn't fit for a dog, but I thought it was delicious. Uh-oh. <laughs> And she always told the truth. Who did it? Helen did it. Occasionally, she wondered why her family was often mad at her. But she kept talking. She talked through everyone's favorite TV show. I've seen this program. Want me to tell you what happened? The giant reptile did it. And the little kitten gets blamed. But it's okay because Ninja Woman and the Environman team up to save the little kitten. And of course the world and except her own. She talked when they were trying to read. There's a poodle over on uh, Cricket Street I'd really like to play with. He's small, but what a dog. And speaking of small, I'm sure you're all curious about the early days of my life. She talked and talked and talked until her family could not stand it and said, Martha, please. Let's see. I was born in a back alley to a poor but loving mother. Although she was a mixed breed, mama was determined to raise us puppies right, to give us a solid background before we went out into the world at eight weeks. Even before our eyes were open, mama said, your dogs, not cats, don't ever forget that, blah, 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 blah. I still remember the rules, mama 
gave us to live by. Beware of two-year-old humans with clothespins. Under the table is the very best place during a meal. Never blah, 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 mistake your human's life for a tree. Blah, 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 that was my brother's, of course. And if it's black and white and smells funny, it's not a cat, don't chase it. And while we're on the subject, I understand cat, but can't can't speak it. Blah, blah, way where was I? Oh yes, blah, 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 blah. Did you know that my mother gave me a name before you did? She named all of us puppies. I was three, my sisters were one, six and seven. My brothers were two, four and five and eight. And I never did like eight very much, but six was a lot of fun, blah, blah, blah. And never forget my father's, when I saw all the puppies, boy, that's a lot of puppies, he said. Wow, Martha talks a lot. Shut up! What's wrong? asked Martha. You talk too much, yelled father. You never stop, yelled mother. Sometimes, said Helen. I wish you had never learned to talk. Martha was crushed. Oh, she's so sad. The next day, Martha did not speak. She didn't ask for her dinner or to go out. She offered no opinions, but she lay quietly beneath the kitchen table. At first, her family really enjoyed the silence, but after a while, they became worried. What's the matter, Martha? asked Helen. Martha didn't answer. Helen's father called the vet. There's something wrong with my dog, he said. She won't say a word. Is this some kind of joke? snapped the vet. But Helen offered Martha bowl after bowl of alphabet soup, but Martha had lost her appetite for letters. Martha's family wondered if she would ever speak again. Then one evening when her family was out, Martha heard the sound of glass, glass breaking. <gasps> A burglar, she gasped. I better call the police. She carefully dialed 911. But when she opened her mouth to speak, Martha hadn't eaten a bowl of alphabet soup in days. Martha raced into the kitchen and she barked and she growled and she tried to look ferocious. The burglar wasn't frightened. He picked up a pot from the stove. Uh-oh, thought Martha. It's taps for sure. But to her surprise, the, bur the burglar put down the pot on the floor in front of her. Here, doggy, she said, have something nice to eat. The burglar smiled and he closed, um, as he closed Martha into the kitchen and went back to work. Dumb dog, he said. Lucky for me, you like alphabet soup. When Martha's family returned, they found the police removing the burglar from their house. How did you know he was robbing our house? Asked Helen. We got a call at the station said the officer, some lady named Martha. Good dog, Martha, exclaimed her happy family. You're so right, said Martha. Now Martha eats a bowl of alphabet soup every day. She's learning what to say and when to say it. And sometimes she doesn't say anything at all, at least for a few minutes. What a fun story about Martha the talking dog. I wish Penny Dog could speak sometimes. I wonder what she'd say. Well, thanks for letting me share this with you. Bye. I just love that story. I love how Martha learns her lesson about not talking too much. And first she's defeated, but then she realizes there's a time and a place to speak. Kind of like the lesson in, I'll get back up again. So here's Mr. Josh with, I will get back up again. <laughs> Looking up at a sunny sky, so shiny blue, and there's a butterfly. Well, it's an absolute fantastic time. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Such marvelousness, I'm gonna bring it out of pocket full of songs that I'm gonna sing, and I'm ready to take on anything. Hooray!
because I like being outside. It's so much fun. So, what's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? Let's take a peek. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, all day, you guys, it's going to be sunny and warm and beautiful and amazing. Not like those storms we heard last night. It's going to be super sunny again. So remember, sunscreen, lots of water, and have fun. Well, that's it for Circle Time today. We've got one more tune from Mr. Josh, and we'll see you tomorrow. And guess what, guys? Shh, we have some special stuff happening in two weeks when we start our school year. We're going to have extra fun lessons. I'm so excited. But... We've got to wait because for right now, we still have summer fun to have, okay? All right, here's that tune from Mr. Josh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> the ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little ones have to suck you some. They all go marching down to the ground, give it out. The ants go marching too, but do the little ones have to fly soon? They all go marching down to the ground, get out of the rain. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, the little ones have to climb a tree. They all go marching down to the ground, get out of the rain. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. Mm. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah. Around. The ants go marching for the door, the little ones have to shut the door, and they all go marching down to the ground, get out of the rain, boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, the little ones have to take a drive, and they all go marching down. One more song? <laughs>